Unfortunately, the, our next advertised guest can't be with us today. Uh, it should have been Louise Bennett, the uh, Chief Executive of Cha Coventry and Warwickshire Chamber of Commerce. She's not well, unfortunately, and she sends her apologies. But uh, we've gotten a very good replacement, uh, a man who last year cycled across America, 3,396 miles, in fact, from Los Angeles to Boston in just 49 days raising an enormous amount of money for the Royal National Institute of Blind People. It's the President of the Coventry and Warwickshire Chamber of Commerce, Mr Doug Squires. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as Dean says, my name is Doug Squires, not Louise Bennett. Uh, she's much prettier than I am, and she's much taller than I am as well. But uh, I'm afraid some things we have to live with. It's my sincere pleasure to have the opportunity this morning to say just a few words, uh, initially about the Chamber, and probably then, obviously, uh, more focused on Alumet as a company and a member of the Chamber. Uh, the Comptry Warwickshire Chamber of Commerce is well over 100 years old. We have some 70 and 1,800 members that are all very active within the Coventry and Warwickshire area and really uh, show how business can be done, can be fought, both at home and one at home and abroad. And a shining example of our membership is, of course, Alumet. The leadership shown by Gary, Dean, and his very capable team of employees is second to none. And I'll just reflect back six months ago when I was actually here on a bright, cold uh, uh, January morning when I was stood on crutches actually, I had two crutches, nothing to do with the bike ride, it was just a little up that I had done, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity of coming down and just chairing a meeting that was held here, all about renewables and green, en green uh, uh, engineering and things which of course uh, we're going to see more and more of. And there was a very select group here around the table discussing the way forward. And if it comes to futurism, futuristic uh, outlook and uh, distance view into the future, then certainly the vision that Alimut have of a company is second to none. And I admire Gary, I admire his uh, ability to have this vision because not everybody's got it. And I understand, I didn't read the article myself, that in a local uh, press review uh, there was comment referring to the fact that the market is such here that within a few years' time this company will be worth millions and millions. I think the figure was probably 50 million turnover, Gary. That'd be about right? Yeah, uh, that, that, that is achievable. And that's probably uh, uh, not far away. So getting onto the green bandwagon and looking at things like we're doing today, we, as I say, we, Chamber, Alumet, uh, the Alumet Group, uh, we talk about localism, we talk about uh, business in the community on what better example of that than we have here today. I haven't been to one of these much spoken about Alumet events before, but I can see I've clearly missed out. And I'm more than delighted to be here just to say thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity. Certainly to Louise, who sadly has not been able to be here, but I'm sure she sends her very best regards on behalf of the Chamber. And Gary, can I just, in conclusion, without boring everybody too much, congratulate you and Dean sincerely on the achievements you have made and your vision and your progression. You're the sort of business that this country needs and certainly we're proud to have you as members of the Coventry and Warwickshire Chamber of Commerce of which I'm very proud the President but only until September when my successor then takes over and you know I wish you all the very best and continued success. Well done. Thank you Doug.